Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at a really good solution for game hoisting or even for getting heavier items up off the ground and out of your way. This is from ProGrip. This is going to be a 3 8 ratchet style hoist. Now the system is going to give us a 500 pound capacity. That's going to be great for a lot of game. Maybe save larger elk, moose, stuff like that. You'll need a heavier system for that. But something that I really like about this one is the way it releases. So generally in lifting game, we're going to lift it up higher than this, or we might want to be storing some bags like this up and overhead. So as we get it up there, as it's mounted up higher on the roof, we'd have to get up there and get to this release button. So we'll have to get out a ladder or something like that. In this case, you can see we've got our release rope here, our release tether. So we'll simply pull up, pull down on that release, and then just allow it to come on down. At that point, we're ready to get our next item on there, whether that's a deer that we need to get skinned out or gear that we need to get stored up and out of the way. Now I've hoisted a lot of deer for cleaning them. Basically what tends to happen without a system like this is that you're gonna have a couple guys on a rope. We use a vise mounted to a steel plate and we need to pull this over, we need to get it set in the vise, and then we need somebody to clamp that vise down. It takes a couple people. This is going to eliminate the need for any additional people. So you won't have to bug your neighbors, you won't have to have a buddy there if you go out bow hunting by yourself or something like that. This is really gonna take care of it all, allow you to get that game up as high as really you want to. We've got a total 20 foot section, I think really in toll, if our rope were up to about here, it would be really close to 20 feet. So either of those taller trees you can get connected to. I think it's gonna be an ideal solution for anything like that. Now, storage also, this can come in handy. We can get items quite high up over things and then also have an easy way to release them if we didn't wanna climb up a ladder each and every time we wanted to get them down. I also really like the construction. It feels nice and heavy duty. We do have a release button here as well. If it's low enough and we don't necessarily want to pull down on that rope, you can see we just press in that release. That'll also allow it to come down. The paracord release here is plenty long enough. So even if we get our ratchet up there quite a ways, we'll be able to get a hold of it and release that. The hooks are going to be rubber coated on each end. Now, of course, using a single connection point like this on game, you're going to need to pick up a gambrel or a leg spreader so you can have something to connect to and lift it up, unless you just want to lift it by one leg. That'll kind of be up to you. The rope itself is really nice. It doesn't give you a lot of heat because as you are lowering this, we can bring it down, slide our hand down a little bit and continue to bring it down further. And I like that it doesn't have a lot of friction. It's more like a, a marine rope. It's kind of more smooth. And it's got a good diameter. You can get plenty of grip on it. Uh, the hook on the other end, it's going to be rubber coated just like the one we have down here. And the pulley, it's got a chrome finish to it. Should help resist corrosion for quite a while. If you're anything like me, you don't want to spend a whole lot of time outside cleaning game. More of that happens in a garage, in a shop, or something like that, where this would be just about perfect. Something else I like about this system that we don't get out of other game hoist system is that it's really compact and lightweight. So this is something that you could pack with you up the mountain, hang your game, not have to have it laying on the ground to get it dressed out. And I also like that with that compact size, it's easy to store. Unlike, let's say, uh, the hitch mounted game hanger. So we can mount it in the hitch, we've got the tube that comes out the pole that comes up and out. It's got a crank handle and a winch. That's pretty heavy. Now you're probably gonna have it in the back of your truck, but it's taking up room and it's making noise as you're driving around. I really am not a huge fan of that type. I'd rather use something like this, find a connection point on the tree if I had to do it outside. Now when using your hoist, you're of course gonna want a secure connection point at the top. And the bottom, we're just gonna use the rubber coated hook that we saw earlier. We'll hook that into our gambrel or whatever item it is that we're going to be lifting up. One thing to keep in mind when you're creating your upper attachment point, with the pulley being fixed, we're not going to be able to lift our ratcheting mechanism all the way up to our connection. So from the top of the hook to the bottom of the pulley here, it's 14 and a half inches. So you want to be sure that whatever you're going to try to lift, you've got this 14 and a half inches above it. At that point, just like we saw, it's time to pull down. Now this is about 
I think it's about 175 pounds, 200 pounds, give or take. And it really is quite easy for one person to lift it up. I think that's going to work right up to the capacity. I mean, you might have to use two hands and really pull down on it quite hard at 500 pounds. But overall, it works pretty well. And of course, to lower it, we need to pull down. We're going to release our lock mechanism and then just allow it to feed out. 